Rocket Lab is currently in the process of manufacturing a next generation launch vehicle named Neutron. Despite Electron's success, the company has very ambitious goals for the future that include an almost fully reusable medium lift launch vehicle. In the past couple of days, we learned much more about the staggering progress being made on this rocket. Specifically, Rocket Lab CEO Peter Beck just gave some new updates on both Neutron's progress and the production complex as well. This included images of Neutron's massive first stage tank halves, people for scale, and building progress, just to name a few. As of right now, the company is still targeting 2024 for the first launch of Neutron. Based on recent progress, it's clear that Rocket Lab is putting an immense amount of work into all aspects of this project and the first mission. Other valuable components such as the Archimedes engine, for example, is also beginning its testing campaign. Here I'll go more in depth into these recent updates, the significance of this progress, what this means going forward, and more. In the last few days, we received a lot of new and exciting information relating to Neutron's progress. Only two days ago on the 17th, Peter Beck tweeted saying, Neutron first stage tank halves in progress. Love it when a plan comes together. This included an image of the two tank halves coming together within the facility. One of the first things that stands out when looking at the picture is the size of the tank. With a few people for scale working on the tank, it puts in perspective how massive this rocket really is. Towards the bottom of the first stage, Neutron is 7 meters or around 23 feet in diameter a significant size increase from Electron's much smaller frame. Focusing back on the image and the background, you can see the tank mold responsible. In September of last year, during Rocket Lab's Investor Day presentation, they revealed a lot of information about Neutron, including what they were working on at the time. This included an image of the mold we see now being created and finished. Neutron utilizes a lightweight, specially formulated carbon composite structure for the majority of the launch vehicle. Rocket Lab is confident that this material combines the best of both worlds relating to both cost, strength, and weight. So much so that not only have the molds been completed, but we are now seeing full Neutron first stage tanks coming together. Recently, Peter Beck commented that, Rocket Lab is on an aggressive schedule to complete the development of Neutron for a 2024 debut. He also said, And we've simplified the problems as far as we can, but at the end of the day, it is a rocket development program. And I'm sure there'll be things that come up and hit us in the face, but at this point we're holding our ground. In addition to the progress on Neutron's first stage, we also learned more about the rocket's just as important infrastructure. On the 16th, Rocket Lab tweeted mentioning, The first building for the Neutron production complex at NASA Wallops is complete. Inside this facility, Neutron's 7 meter wide reusable first stage will take shape as we work toward first launch. This included an image of the structure sitting on a large pad of concrete that was poured by the company. Only a month prior, Rocket Lab reported that this exact facility was still taking shape and not yet complete. Rocket Lab has big plans for Neutron's production complex and launch site. The Neutron production complex will be home to a rocket production, assembly, and integration facility as well as a dedicated launch pad for the Neutron rocket located on the southern end of Wallops Island. The estimated 250,000 square foot state-of-the-art complex will be constructed on a 28-acre site adjacent to the Wallops Island Flight Facility and will include a launch control center, Rocket Lab's fifth global operations center for launch activities and on-orbit operations. To support rapid production of the Neutron rocket, current plans for the complex include automated fiber placement robotic production systems capable of laying up meters of Neutron's new, specially formulated carbon composite structures in only minutes. As a reusable rocket, Neutron is designed to land back on the Launch Complex 3 pad after a mission, and from there, it would be returned to the Production Complex for refurbishment and reflight, all factors being considered as work begins throughout the site. Now that we know more about Neutron's recent tank progress and details about the Production Complex coming together, we can take a closer look at this launch vehicle and some of the changes the company made to it. With a brand new rocket comes many unknowns and unique problems. During Rocket Lab's initial announcement of Neutron in the past, they gave some various details regarding its design, size, number of engines, facilities, and more. In the short period of time since then, a lot has changed already. Over a week ago, we saw the start of actual hardware testing and static fires of the Archimedes engine. However, instead of just seven Archimedes engines on the first stage, there will now be nine, for a total of ten engines on the rocket, including the second stage. In addition, Rocket Lab announced a lot more detail on this engine and its future. Peter Beck explained that they were trying to make the most reliable and reusable engine, which is the reason for the slightly lower ISP. He highlighted that this engine is going to be reused again and again, and the less stress it goes through the better. They then announced a change from a gas generator cycle to oxidizer rich close cycle, because as they worked through the content of operations and did all the power balances, they found turbine temperatures that were too high, a low amount of margin, and the need for a lot of compromises. Specifically, the oxidizer-rich closed cycle provides a higher specific impulse than gas generator, open expander, or tap-off cycles, without the thrust limits or added complexity. They pointed out that gas generator cycles are limited in capability and not suited to the deep throttling required for multiple relights in orbit, and for landing the first stage. 
ORSC engines operate at relatively low temperatures and pressures, eliminating the stress and thermal strain experienced by gas generator engines. This improves engine life and reusability, while leaving headroom to increase performance. All of these changes were made not long after this rocket's grand reveal. Something we can expect even more of in the near future is both manufacturing and full-scale engine testing take shape. To get a better idea of how fast Rocket Lab is really moving, we can take a look at Neutron's production site progress less than a year ago. In April 2022, Rocket Lab broke ground on the construction of a rocket production complex where the company's Neutron launch vehicle will be manufactured. Rocket Lab selected Virginia as the location of its Neutron production complex and launch site due to the location's ability to support frequent launch opportunities as well as continued support from the Commonwealth of Virginia. In terms of actual construction, very soon after they broke ground, concrete began to be poured for the massive facility and launch pads, with the goal of standing up the first neutron production complex building before the end of 2022. By now, one of these buildings is already up and more work is being completed. As to more reasons why this specific location was chosen, Peter Beck said, Neutron is a new generation of rocket that will advance the way space is accessed, and Virginia makes perfect sense as a significant site for Neutron's early development. Its position on the eastern seaboard is the ideal location to support both Neutron's expected frequent launch cadence and the rocket's return to Earth capability of landing back at its launch site after liftoff, and is one of only four states in the United States with an FAA spaceport license for missions to Earth orbit or interplanetary trajectories. Virginia is home to an active and experienced aerospace workforce we can pull from to support Neutron's development and launch. I'm thankful for the Commonwealth's enthusiasm and backing of Neutron, which, combined with the state's rich heritage as an aerospace state, made it difficult to see anywhere else but Virginia to begin Neutron's journey. Neutron is Rocket Lab's next generation launch vehicle in development, designed to lift 8 tons of payload and to provide a tailored launch solution for satellite mega constellations. Neutron's unique design, materials, propulsion, and reusability architecture also intend to make the launch vehicle ideal for assured access to space for the nation's most critical missions, deep space exploration, and potentially human spaceflight. Neutron will be the world's first carbon composite large launch vehicle, powered by in-house designed and manufactured Archimedes reusable rocket engines, and an advanced upper stage to enable high performance for complex satellite deployments. Developments we can look forward to in the coming months. Rocket Lab has been all hands on deck as Neutron progress has been ramping up among other important projects. In the last couple of days, we've seen Archimedes engine updates, Neutron tank development, complex buildings, and more all of which are vital to the aggressive launch schedule and goal to begin using this next-generation launch vehicle in 2024. We will have to wait and see how it progresses and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.